Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of September 2021. Uh, I did a separate uh, video letting everyone know that there will be no weekly videos in the month of December. Um, Jan January, the jury's still out on that one, so I'll have to get back to you on the uh, January weeklies, but there will be, well, there is the December ones, and in December will also be the January monthlies. Like I said, when uh, the weeklies return, I will give a date on that. But I would like to also take a moment now to wish each and every one of you who celebrate the holiday a very happy and joyous season. And let's get to your reading now, Libra. Six of Wands in the upright position. Virgo got the same thing in the same position. <coughs> Excuse me. It might be very significant if you do have a business partner that is a, uh, a Virgo because perhaps the two of you have been working together on a project or it could be a co-worker or so forth. And this is about celebrating something that has become accomplished. This is about a victory. This is about the, the victory parade. This is about the prodigal son returns. This is about a lot of attention being bestowed upon us. Uh, oftentimes this will come up when, say, for example, it is the uh, the holiday season, maybe some people are planning on traveling home uh, to be with family, to be with friends, going back to your hometown. This is a lot of attention being bestowed upon you. For others of you, this is a big victory. You're doing the victory dance uh, for something. You could be uh, completing a project at work or with business partners or things like that. And, you know, pats on the back, kudos to you, work well done. In week one, we've got some beautiful energy. You have the Ten of Cups here, rooted down by Major Account of the Fool. The Ten of Cups is great energy, can be linked to family. This is about everybody being on the same page emotionally and, and celebrating, joyously celebrating a situation. It can come up for weddings. It can come up for um, get-togethers. It can come up when we actually say for example we're dating somebody for a while and this is the first time we're bringing them home to the family it could be for some of you perhaps you just started dating and uh, you're wanting to bring them home to the family for christmas for the holidays or something like that for others of you this is just about having an, a peak emotional experience in week one something really good could be happening now it's not always on the uh, romance front it can sometimes represent on the creative front, perhaps some of you are, you know, feeling really, really good due to a creative project, uh, maybe being completed and it's really, really, you know, lifting you on the emotional front. And it's paired up here with the fool in the upright position. Well, this can point to uh, taking that leap of faith. Maybe some of you, like I said, maybe you just started dating someone and things are getting serious. Maybe you're taking a leap of faith. Maybe you're thinking about getting engaged now or moving in together or something like that. Others of you, this could be about something separate. This could just be that you're feeling really good that a, a project or something has been completed. And maybe now you're anxious to get started on a new adventure or a new project. Project. In week two, we have the Ten of Pentacles here in the upright position, rooted down by the Seven of Swords reversed. Well, the Ten of Pen now you've got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So this is very, very good, happy times for the family. Also looks like it's going to be a good time for your financial situations as well. And Ten of Pentacles points to abundance. It could be extra bonus coming your way. Sometimes it can come up uh, for inheritance. Maybe uh, some of you uh, could have gotten a raise. Maybe someone in the family has gotten a raise. Or it could be where an adult child is living in the home. They finally got a job and they're able to contribute to the, uh, the family finances. It's anything like that. It's a wonderful feeling stable and feeling strong on that front. So you've got, you know, the Ten of Cups here in the, in the first two weeks. You have the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. It's abundance in, uh, of emotions and abundance of, you know, financial, practical and 
uh, all good stuff. <laughs> and the, the card that's rooting down the Ten of Pentacles is the Seven of Swords reversed. This is about no longer avoiding something. Seven of Swords in the upright can be where we're trying to avoid dealing with somebody or a situation. Something, someone, or a situation. We're just trying to not deal with it or it can sometimes represent trying to, you know, sort of dip out, sneak away from a situation before, um, you know, you have to deal with it. But when the Seven of Swords is reversed, this is where uh, we're dealing with something head on. Maybe some of you have been, you know, having to sort of skirt around when it came to financial situations, but now you're dealing with it head on. Uh, that could be the case with it rooting it down. But now the, um, the Seven of Swords in reverse could be about something completely different as well. It's not necessarily connected to the Ten of Pentacles, but it's, it could be. So the, the Seven of Swords, if it's not um, connected to the Ten of Pentacles, could just be about, well, it's like the thief gets caught when it's in reverse position. If somebody tried to make off with something of yours, sometimes the Seven of Swords in the upright can be a little scoundrel who's trying to do something and, uh, you know, get away with something. But when the card is reversed, it can point to, you know, getting caught or being exposed. And others, for others of you, this could just be about you were going to try to avoid dealing with something or someone, but you decided not to. You decided to deal with the situation head on. So moving on to week three, which will be the week of Christmas, we have the Four of Cups in the upright position. Root it down with the Emperor in the upright. The Four of Cups is, is that sort of emotional apathy uh, energy. This is where it could be for some of you, perhaps there's something really good going on in the beginning of the month and you're really focused on that. So in week three, it could be that, you know, you were not really into the emotional aspects of life at that point. You could be dealing with uh, other things. You have maybe m my mind's on the money, money's on the mind kind of situation going on. It could be that you're dealing with the practical aspects of life or some other new adventure that you're, you're, you're going on or this major victory. You're focused elsewhere, it looks like, in week three. So this is where we don't really, even if the universe is trying to offer us like a wonderful romantic experience or something like that, we're just not really interested in it. We're just kind of like, no, my mind is elsewhere right now. So, and it's rooted down with the emperor in the upright position. The emperor is Mars energy connected to both the signs of Aries and Scorpio. So it could be dealing with one of those signs, but the, the emperor is about control and can be a little bit rigid and strict. So maybe for some of you, maybe the emotional aspect of life is being sort of hampered by either a strict situation or a controlling situation, or it could even be a controlling person. Perhaps your emotions are kind of shut down because you're not crazy about dealing with this controlling energy. Maybe somebody's appearing to be really controlling to you and you're just kind of like, you know, shutting down the emotions and saying, I don't want to deal with this. The emperor can be representative of someone who's very helpful in that respect too. So maybe this is a powerful person in position to be able to aid you and help you in some way, uh, Libra, but maybe you're just not, you're just not into it. You just, you know, Maybe your just emotions are just kind of shut down or maybe your emotions are shut down because on the romantic front, because of the fact that you could be very focused on this, this energy, maybe because this person is aiding or helping you in some way in your career or on your new path. So perhaps you just don't want to get distracted by romance or energies like that. So moving on to or maybe some of you expended all of your emotions right at the beginning of the month and now you don't have anything left the well is dry in week three <laughs> so now we have week four um we have the king of pentacles in the upright position rooted down by major account of the death card so king of pentacles in the upright is a core card could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn sun moon arising male or female now the king of pentacles as a vocation can be somebody who deals with finances it can be representative of a financial advisor a banker or 
a real estate agent, um, an, a, an accountant, somebody like that. So it could be that you're dealing with, um, in, in the last week of the month, it could be you're dealing with practical uh, financial matters. Um, it could be connected to this, uh, at the beginning, this new adventure you're, you're going on. Sometimes the fool can represent, you know, taking that leap of faith, moving to another place and, you know, working sometimes people will uh you know apply for jobs in another city another town and you know even another country and then they get it and now they have to deal with the practical aspects of things could be the case for some of you for others of you the king of pentacles could represent somebody you're dealing with could be a boss could be a family member friend your husband wife bff what have what have you and this person could be uh be being very grounded maybe it seems like up uh, the first part of the month libra things are kind of you're on a roll and things are going great and 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 everything seems light and airy in the second part of the month however the closeout things become a little bit more focused more real more rigid right so you kind of have to get your head out of the clouds after the first two weeks and start dealing with the practical aspects of something you may have put in motion in the beginning of the month and then the last card you have is a uh, major account of death card in the upright position the scorpio energy this could be where we see the final end of something that can no longer it's it's no longer sustainable that's what the death card represents it's mostly about transformation this is about the phoenix rising from the ashes of a situation that no longer that all collapsed and it's no longer um you know part of our existence our life anymore sometimes the death card can simply represent there's a need for a change right and especially when it's with the king of pentacles here this could represent there's a need for a change in your you know either home life because pentacles can represent they represent the tangible things so it can be our home our business our finances so it could be that uh, something needs to transform or change when it comes to our home or our business or our finance so there could be an ending coming with a king of pentacles for some of you for others of you this is about transforming something that no longer works it cannot be sustained as it is any longer so we need to do something here, either change it up or, you know, bring it to its natural end. So in closing, I pull two cards from the Zodiac deck. One will be for love and romance and the other will be for career and finance. So let's see what we have for love and romance for Libra. We have sun in Capricorn status. So something the sun will be in capricorn at the latter part of december so it could be that something happens in your love life concerning uh, or when the uh the sun is in capricorn it could also be something happens significant when the moon's in capricorn it could also represent capricorn as the um as the love interest it could also be that capricorn introduces you to your love interest <laughs> all right so the next card is for career and finance so what is the card for libra sun in scorpio passion so scorpio could be when the sun or the sorry no, sorry, not the uh, sun the moon is in scorpio something significant could happen with your career your finances or your you know uh job situation home situation so it, it could be a uh, Scorpio's involved. Maybe you are, um, you know, starting to work with or partner up with the Scorpio, or maybe the Scorpio is the new boss. It could be Scorpio is, uh, we did see, oh yeah, that's right. You did have the, yeah, the death card in your reading, which represents Scorpio too. So it could be that this person is somehow, um, involved, like I said, in your love life or, or not in your love life, in your financial life could be that something you know maybe you sign a, a deal or you get a job when the moon's in in scorpio that's what i have for you i really hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you when i see you take care Bye bye